we have already discussed uh, important questions of chapter 4, 5 and 6 that is uh, loops in C, nested loop and arrays in C. Here in this video we are going to discuss chapter 2 that is introduction to HTML and CSS. Here we are going to do only some important questions which may appear in your HLCC examination. So our first question is we have to create a web page that contain two frames. One frame will contain information about a table or one frame contain a table and another frame will contain a list. Now to solve this question we have to create three web pages. So first we will open notepad. So we'll go to start bar and search here notepad. Then click on the notepad app. It will open like this way as I'm using Windows 11. So interface is a bit different, but in Windows 7 there might be a bit different, but same thing only. So we have to make the first the page that contain two frames. So first line doc type HTML doc type html then bracket close this line is not necessary if you don't want to write you can skip it but still your code will work but for this line uh, examiner might cut your mark because while you are creating an html5 document uh, this line is important after that we will write head section uh, sorry html this is also known as root element means this state contain all other element in this document in your document after that head will be there inside the head we will write title and in title as we are creating frame we can give the name as frames then title will be closed and after that we will close head as a uh, in examination you will have less time so you can skip the css part but if the examiner asks you can write the CSS, CSS as well but uh, for right now you can skip the CSS then we will start body tag in body tag we will write h1 then we will write uh, inserting frames then h1 will be closed after that we will have to add two frames for that we will write I F R A M E I frame no space we will write together S R C then two frames we will have to add so for the first frame F1 dot HTML now please remember whatever name you will provide here for when uh, means you have to create two more pages right and that two pages you have to give exactly the same name so be careful here I am giving here the first page as F1 dot HTML then I can give width 40% and after that bracket close and for inverted comma you have to give double inverted if you give single two time for example if you give this way it will be wrong you have to give double inverted comma then bracket close and iframe close now you copy this line first select this line then go to edit and select copy now go to next line again go to edit paste you can also use shortcut key control c and control v now in the second page in place of f1 you write f2 mean our means our second page name will be frame 2 here you can close body and after that you can close ht and l so our main page is done this page while you are saving for saving you can go to file menu then save or save as you can take anyone save at first box where file name is written there you write your name i am giving name is rahul after that you can write your roll number suppose 23 after that you write full stop html then save as type this one click and select all files then click on save your file is saved now you have to take out again notepad you can close the earlier one uh, again you do same procedure 
open notepad then uh, take a new file there again you write now we have to create a table so we'll directly we will uh, for inside two pages we don't have to write this uh, HTML document and all we will directly create the table and list for here I'm creating a table simple table table then caption and here I am also giving border border equal one <coughs> caption suppose student info then caption close caption tag provide the name of the table then tr it creates a row to the table then td we can make two columns suppose roll number then td will be closed again td actually we should not write td in the first line it should be T, it's table heading. After that, we will write TD, right? So, TH, then you write the name, TH closed, then TR will be closed. So, our first row done. One, two more row we will create. So, TR, now you will write TD, row number one, TD will be closed, again TD again name let it be rahul then td close then tr close now as you will have less time in exam so you can copy this line right Control c go to next line Control v to paste it now you change the value instead of one you write it two instead of rahul you can write some other name and TR close after that you will close table command okay then you will save this page again you go file save as you can take save as well then here you give name f1 this one you have to remember in the first name we give f1.html f2.html so this name applied here so if I write here some other name then this page will be not displayed on that main page so it should be f1.ht ml and save the file type as all files if you don't do still it will work but it's better to do now we have to take uh, one more time notepad here we'll make a list so li i'm uh, we are going to create an order list ol so suppose i am just writing a uh, few students name so li rahul li close again li ria li close again li santos li close then deep li close and ol close so one list is created list is created again we'll save it while saving this file we will give the name is f2.html okay now our three files created first page name is rahul23.html second page name is f1.html and third page is f2.html now we'll go to the location where we save the file we have saved the file in desktop in exam also try to save your file in desktop itself so this is our main file while we'll open this file we'll get get this output in one frame we'll get a table in another frame we'll get a list now in the list uh, after deep number five also appeared i think i have did some mistake let's go and check this is the mistake i have not closed the ally that's why one more item is created now i have corrected if i reload the page you will see five is not here so this way you can solve this question and while i am doing this question uh, i have also did one thing that is uh, i have created a table so this uh, table command will work for your this question create uh, represent your class timetable in a table or display different states of india along with their capital using a table 
I have already solved these questions in other videos you can browse through that videos and you can see how to solve that question but I think this is very important for your practical examination one more question is there in that question what you have to do you have to add a picture and you have to make a clickable link and while you click on that link one more page will appear and some information about the picture will come so we'll see how to do that question we'll try to write the question uh, write the code sorter we will not apply much css much design we'll do it simple way so that you can remember it faster okay at first we need a photo here now normally while you go in your computer lab school's computer lab you go to pictures folder as uh, in my laptop I, I also have a picture folder you will see there are some default pictures will be there in my laptop there are no more pictures which I can be added so in maybe in download folder I may get some pictures so I have this picture I'll copy it to desktop I'm pasting the picture and I will rename the picture to a simple name so that I can remember it okay so rename and I'm giving the picture name is PIC and the format to know the format we can right click on the pictures and we will go to properties so here property will be there go to properties and you will see here it's showing as .jpg that means our pictures full name is pic.jpg so let us create the code we will open notepad this is the shortcut <coughs> this is the shortcut way if you are not able to find out notepad in your computer press con windows plus r key and this run option will appear there you write notepad and click on ok so notepad will appear here now we'll write the code we will insert an image as well as one link which will open another page so first line doctor html second line will be html then head then title we can write the title in same line as well here i am giving us inserting image as a link then title close then if i don't want to give css then head also close after that we'll write body part okay now here i will give a heading h1 here i am writing uh, inserting image as a link then h1 close and in next line at first we'll create a link for that we'll write a one space a means anchor tag right a tag is used to create a link in a web page then one space href that means hyperlink reference equal within double inverted comma we will write name of the page which will open after creating the link uh, after clicking on that link suppose my page will be page 2 so i'm writing page 2 dot html inverted comma close bracket close after writing this part we will write code to insert the image so we will write img one space src equal double inverted comma now name of the image my image name is pic dot jpg inverted comma close one space here we will assign height and width so height equal let it be 200 and width let it be 300 after that bracket close and a close emits anchor tag close as image is an empty tag so there is no closing for this so this done after that we will close body tag then we will close head tag then we will save the page so for that we will go to file save as here you can write your name and roll number as i said let the name is uh, 
as I use that name only roll number 45 dot html now we have to create one more pages so you will open notepad one more time means we will close the previous code again you will open the notepad one more time as I am using windows 11 so I don't have to close there is tab options in notepad app so I can do that but if you are using windows 7 or 10 I think you will not get this option so here we will create the next page doc type html then html then head then title in title we will write information so title close head close then body start here we will write h1 tag information then h1 will be closed after that we'll create a paragraph p and we will write this picture is about something you will write whatever you know about that picture then p will be closed then body will be closed then html closed after that we will save the file and here we will give the name as as we have provided in the first page we get the name as page 2.html done now we have to see the output whether our code work or not here doc type exclamatory sign is required i have missed it so save let's see the first page code this is the code for the first page and this is the code for the second page and the question is create a web page where you will insert an image as a link and when the user click on that link it will display the information about the picture so this is my first page name uh, where it gone this one if I click on this picture you can see one image is appeared here this is my thumbnail only so if I come to this picture you will see mouse pointer changes into a hand symbol so this way we know that it is a link how we know that uh, in a page uh, one content is one any object is link or a text so when we hover the text or the object if it appear into a hand symbol then we know that it is a link so as it is appear in a hand symbol it is a link okay and it is an external link <clears throat> it is not an intern it is an external link okay uh, external internal when when we make the link in the same page so if i click this link you see it goes to the second page so this way you can do this question and table i have already said uh, in first question we have done only this way you can do the table part and these three are only the main questions for this uh, practical examination for html one more is there that uh, you have to make a calendar means you have to to do list to do list type that is also very easy one i have already solved uh, solved this one you can see and for oral examination there might be many questions from html like what is html who developed it when developed it uh, what are the different type of text so i'll make a separate video or i'll make a PDF file where I'll add uh, probable whatever sort questions are there from this chapter. This all the questions together, and you can see it from there. So, thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then, take care, and bye.